guys. Welcome back to another episode of 12 Inch Trigger Fanatic. Today we're going to check out this Jumbo Iron Throne from Game of Thrones. This is by Beast Kingdom. It's uh, officially licensed by HBO and it should be the ultimate accessory to go with my Game of Thrones figures. Let's crack this open. I'm going to put it on display with one of the figures and we'll see if it measures up to what it actually cost me out of pocket, which was steep. All right, so I'm actually gonna have to open this one from all the way over here just to get the uh, the whole thing in the shot here. So I think I bought this uh, for around around $400, uh, which I thought was kind of steep. Um, I don't know how it's made exactly, so it could be that it's justified when I open this up and look at it and the detail is there. Um, but it's also selling currently on eBay for about the same price, about $400. All right. So it's well packed. Man. All right. Oof. This reminds me of the time I did the uh, Ecto-1 review. Uh, you got to go back way back and check that one out. Um, I was tossing stuff around and it got kind of messy. Uh, there we go. Holy cow, what was that? All right. East Beast Kingdom, Certificate of Authenticity, MC-045. This is number 69 out of 3,000. So I guess they only made 3,000 of these. It's a pretty, pretty nice card. It's got a, a little sort of stamp logo uh, in the paper. And then it's got, ooh, important notes. Hand-painted. Pre-ordered product images are based on prototype. Don't we know? Uh, product size and measurement may vary. Well, that's kind of scary. I hope they kept it to scale. All right. God. So I think this, this looks like just a solid sculpt. A lot of spikes here. All right. Okay, let me put this down and give you guys a closer look. All right, so it's it's nice, um, but one thing I'm noticing right off the bat is it just doesn't have the depth that the real one does because it's a sculpt. I mean, yeah, it looks like there's some kind of randomly sculpted swords in there. Um, but it it was really intricate with the real deal because there were thin blades. These are kind of cartoonish blades. And I figured this would have been made of metal, at least the front uh, portions of this. And um, yeah, I mean, you can't really tell in the video how, how bland it is. That's the only way I could describe it. Um, anyway, it's got this, uh, nice nameplate on there. Um, as I said, 69 out of 3000, a 69 is not a bad number to have. I'll tell you that much, but, um, uh, so it's a nice, it's a nice plate. It's got HBO up in the corner here. It is heavy. It is definitely heavy. And the bottom has, uh, um, sort of a, a, a suede type feel to it. So it won't scratch whatever surface you place it on. Um, Made in China, God bless them. They're still doing things for us. Uh, let's see what the back looks like here. So same thing, um, got the sculpt going on here. And you no, know, I don't, so it's, it's got some ply to it, which I appreciate because can you imagine if this was made out of plaster or something, how easy this would be to break off? So I really do appreciate this. Um, but 
Yeah. I mean, if anything, I could see buying some like, I don't know, tin type, maybe like for scrap. If you go to Michael's and you get like, uh, go to the scrapbooking section, they've got like silverish or tin uh, type of uh, uh, sheets and just going in there and intricately putting them on here. So it looks more like metal. But anyway, let's get uh, let's get John Snow. What is his name? John Snow? I don't know. Something Snow over here and uh, put him in the chair. All right, John Snow, ladies and gentlemen. This is a, uh, a custom figure that I bought a while back. It's kind of a, a mix match of uh, different different figures, but it turned out very nice. Um, so. It it does on the surface it looks like a nice presentation with him in this uh, in this chair. However, if you've watched the entire series, it really isn't iconic um, to have him sitting in the chair. The chair the chair by itself is well known throughout the series, um, but not necessarily for the people that are in it. If that makes any sense, so. It, I, I don't know. It's debatable. I guess it's a, it's how much of a fan of Game of Thrones are you where it justifies spending the $400 that this costs to display the figure. On top of that, be aware that the seat portion does come up a little too high. So the feet don't touch. It it uh, it should have been lower. So I would say, remember we, we read on that card, not necessarily uh, same measurements, well, I would say that, yeah, they didn't keep to a uh, true six scale on this. If anything, maybe this portion could have been a little bit bigger. And then this this portion over here with the, the seat and the armrest could have been a little bit smaller. But the fact that I can't have his feet touching the ground, um, that just looks a little a little stupid. Not worth the $400 to display it like that. And there's nothing really I could do about it. So, I don't know. Uh, I, I, I don't think I've ever rated an object before. I usually just rate figures on this show. But um, I wouldn't give this thing a very good score, especially considering how much it costs. I'm probably, as a matter of fact, going to end up just putting it back on eBay. Um, it, it, just, it takes up too much space. It's not doing what it's supposed to do for me. Anyways, we'll try next time. See you later.